Hi, I'm Carson, and today I'm going to be going over my top 10 teams this year for basketball. Um, so going into 22 season, I know this is kind of early, but let's do it. Number one, um, this is kind of obvious. I went with the Warriors because they just have like a great shooting percentage. Their offensive strategies are really good. Their defense is outstanding. And I don't think that there's a better pick than the Warriors. You know, they have Steph, Clay, Jordan Poole. Like, you can't beat them. Won the championship last year and got to go with the Warriors. All right, number two, Bucks. The Bucks have Giannis, great defensively. The Holiday and Drew Holiday and the Porter. Um, I forgot his name, but I'll try and think of it. But so like, there's four guys. Their four starting lineup. They got the big center in there and. Defense, offense is insane. Giannis is carrying the team. They're they're a great shooting team too. They're actually an okay shooting team, but I went with the Bucks as number two. All right, number three. This one may shock you. I went with the Suns. Now I think that the Suns are gonna have a good year because they have Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre, Ayton. They have power in the paint they have power shooting they have power everywhere so I think that that breaks down my number th three the Suns so I'm so I was kind of debating between the Suns and Celtics but I decided to put the Celtics at four I feel like the Celtics have a lot of power down low they're they have Jason Tatum obviously made it to the finals. They could have beaten the Suns. It was it it was a close pick between the Suns and the Celtics. But I went the Sun with the Suns. And the reason I put Celtics at four, it's just because, I don't know, their guards aren't really the best. They do have Smart and Tatum. And, you know, I take that back. They're a pretty good all-around team. But I do think that the Suns are just going to outperform them this upcoming year. So now we got the Sixers, 76ers. So I went with the Sixers. Uh, they actually could have beaten the Celtics. But I put, Cel I put the 76ers at five because they have great, great offense. You know, like, what's his name? Oh, man, I keep forgetting. They have, like, Terry Maxey, James Harden. They have put together a really good team. I'm thinking Joel Embiid. That's what I was thinking of. Um, so I think that the six, the 76ers are just a really good pick. And I don't think that the next... Actually, it's close again because now at number six, we have the Heat. 76ers are Heat. I want the 76ers. They have a better all-around team, in my opinion. But the Heat, Jimmy Butler... He's getting kind of old, but we'll see how that turns out. So we got Jimmy Butler, um, Bam Adebayo, ton of other great players on that team, and they are great defensively and offensively, and they have decent shooting, and I think that they're going to be really good this year. So now on to number seven. It's kind of tough. But I went with the Mavs for number seven. I went with the Mavs because of their shooting, their paint, playing, and defense. Everything's just pretty good for the Mavs. And I don't know what else to say about them. I just feel like they're a really well-rounded team, great offense, mainly great offense. And yeah, so Mavs number seven. And now number eight, Nuggets. I'm people are probably gonna disagree with me on this one, but I don't know. I just thought you know Nicole Jokic could do better defensively, but offensively, 
It's great with like passing, all that stuff. And especially passing. He's a power forward. He can pass. It's funny. I would I should do a video on highlights of Nikola Jokic because he can't car carry the team again. He's going to get MVP I bet this next upcoming year. So, I think that that pretty much wraps up the nugs. Now moving on to number 9. I was struggling with my number 9, but like I didn't put you won't see the Bulls or the Trailblazers on this list. But I put the Grizzlies at 9. I think I made a mistake there, but I think I'm going to roll with it. So Grizzlies 9. Grizzlies, John Morant, Desmond Bain, um the Jackson guy, I forgot his first name. But they've put together a great team. They're going to make playoffs. They did well against the Timberwolves. Timberwolves just choked, but Grizzlies, I don't know. They've put together a really good team, and they, I don't know, Grizzlies, great shooting, John Morant in the paint, he runs the offense really well, very good offensive strategies, defense is pretty, it's okay, their defense is okay, work on that a little bit, but 9 Grizzlies, alright, 10. I was deb debating between three teams, 1, the Rockets, 1, or two, the Bulls. Actually, more than that. I was debating on, like, a bunch of teams. Three. Three, the Timberwolves. Four, Hornets. Five, Nets. And that was it. Actually, and then I was kind of debating with the Hawks, but I was going to surprise a bunch of you, but I went with the Timberwolves. Timberwolves have put together a great team. Now, they're really interesting. I'm from Minnesota, so may disagree with this, but I think that they made a good decision with Rudy Gobert. So, Rudy Gobert, Cat. So, Rudy Gobert is now playing center. Cat, power forward. It's, it's, really, it's really awesome how they put the team together. Anthony Edwards, rookie, gets like 20 points a game in his first season, and, um, Obviously, they traded away Jared Vanderbilt, I think, but they got D'Lo, right? They still have D'Lo. Um, and you know who I also think is going to blow up? I uh, forgot his name, but um, he's a bench player. He can shoot really well, but I'll get to that later. But anyway, that's my 10th team in, team, T-Wolves. Can't really think of the guy's name, but we'll just go with it. So, here's a recap. One Warriors, two Bucks, three Suns, four Celtics, five Sixers, five Sixers, six Heat, seven Mavs, eight Nugs, Nuggets, nine Grizzlies, 10 Timberwolves. I think I made some good decisions, but make sure to check out our blog at websites called Boyle, Boyle Boys Creative .com. It's a lot of fun. You get to see what we write about, our life style, and we don't write on there as mu that much, but just make sure to check it out. We'll get some stuff up there. Just started it, so... Make sure to check that out, and then see you next video. I think I may record another one tonight, but anyway, see you next time. Bye.